Welcome to the vlog two. Today, I can't tell you what we're doing, it's a surprise. It's in here, check it out. Yeah, it's a really old hearse. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. I'm sitting where the driver sits. Look at this. Typically the horses would be here. S no horses today. And you ask how old is this thing? I have no idea. Old, very old. It's still used today for its intended purposes, yep. Funerals, it's crazy. I'm working on the brakes today because you all know, a hearse has to have its brakes. Wouldn't want that thing going too fast. Mm -mm, no way. Okay, check it out. So you're driving here and then, I don't know if you can see this. This is the brake pedal here. So you fit that thing and all your weight under it, slow the horse down or slow the carriage down. No wait, slow the hearse down. Okay, so you push the brakes with your foot. I'm on the ground now. Pull that. Okay, I'm underneath the carriage now. There's a cable here. You can't see it. Goes to a big lever here. This thing. That's the bar that goes to each wheel. And then each wheel has a pad on it here. And that pushes on the brakes. Or no, on the wheel. That pushes on the wheel. Slow this puppy down. Here's some of the problem. This is barely touching the wheel. And the gap between this one is different than that one. And so when they brake, only one wheel is getting used, or one brake is getting used. So it's up to the blacksmith me, fix this baby up so she's safe to do her job. Hey, first thing I gotta do, you gotta jack it up. That's a leaf spring pack. Oh my god, it does not feel good. Yes, it just smacked that into the nail. When working on projects like this, you get so tired and sore. The body's not used to working like this. It's always interesting to work on projects that are old that other craftsmen have been involved in but a very long time ago you're always looking oh how did they do that oh they did it like that oh somebody screwed up there oh they did a really good job there you know that's what somebody's going to be saying about my work someday oh damn he was lazy bum that day he didn't do a good job at all pretty sure i remember an automotive class in high school that you're not supposed to be under the vehicle when you're jacking it up Sure that doesn't apply to hearses though, right? Ooh. Hey, the boss asked, it didn't happen. No texting on the job site, no phones on site, no personal electronic devices allowed, especially while under a hearse. This is the part that I'm gonna be working on here, the brake pad. The best case scenario is, I just loosen this bolt off. We just adjust it a little bit. <laughs> Tighten it back up and we're done. Do that to the other side, we're off to the races. Worst case scenario is, I burn the whole carriage down, we gotta rebuild a new one. So let's see how that goes. It's like probably a hundred years tight. Start somewhere. Oh, that's already loose, okay. Just. Okay, bolt's loose. I think there's so much crud and paint and stuff in here. In here, this probably, uh, it probably just needs to be like wrenched up, torqued up. Hopefully, try that. 
Okay, that's not too bad. It's actually pretty loose. So I'm gonna wiggle it. Always the wrong size wrench. No. Hey, so just in case you're working on a carriage and a hearse like this yourself and you find yourself in a similar situation where you need to adjust the brakes, bolt is half an inch. That'll save you some time for sure. It was asked of me as well to adjust the brake pedal. It, it needs to push a little bit further before the brakes hit. So that's adjusted right here. There's like a, it's like a clevis. It's not, but that idea. Oh, it's actually really loose. Oh, look at that. Just spins. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to try the brake, pad brake pedal to see how it feels. Oh yeah, that's sweet. That's the way to go for sure. So I'm gonna pull this pad off, and I'm gonna put on a 516 spacer, probably do flush bolt it on, and then just slip this back on so that then when the brake is applied, both will touch. This is a shim in it. It's a little bit ugly, but just overarching scope of this project, it's the best way to go. So I'm gonna take this off and, and we're gonna get to it. Oh, bada bing, bada boom! Ooh. It obviously was, it obviously was touching at some point. I suspect when it breaks hard, the whole thing flexes in. Finished, got the part welded in there. I think it looks okay. We're gonna go try it out and see how it works. Here we go. So the next step is re-drilling the hole for the cotter pin. I'm gonna move it right to the edge so that I can get the brake pad all the way out to sit the wheel. I don't know if like these wheels, if they get wider as they get worn, or these are different wheels. Should be a little bit longer. So we're gonna try to help that out a little bit with that. Cross fingers on this, drilling these, it's one eighth hole. So, let's see how it goes. paint on there psh, psh, psh. no big deal I don't think you need to see that so we're gonna wrap the end of this vlog up right here thanks so much for watching love it if you hit that like button please subscribe if you haven't already 